Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in last week's video, we talked all about YouTube end screens and cards, what they are and why they're important. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure to head back over to last week's video and check that out. I will make sure to link it in the YouTube cards above here for you. But in this week's video, we are going to be talking about exactly how to create a YouTube end screen for yourself and for your channel for free. So make sure to stay tuned and we're gonna get into this tutorial. Okay, so before we get started, if you want to learn how to create a YouTube lead generation system for your business, make sure to save your seat for my free masterclass by clicking the link below this video. Okay, so how do we create a YouTube end screen for free? Well, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know how much I love Canva. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use Canva to create the YouTube end screen. And there's many other tutorials on my channel as well that include other tutorials for Canva, like how to create YouTube thumbnails um, and much more. So I'll make sure to link some of those above here for you as well. But let's jump over into my computer and let's get this tutorial started. Okay, so let's create a end screen in Canva. So what I want you to do once you log into your Canva account is go to create a design. And then I want you to come down and just search YouTube YouTube thumbnail because we want it to be the same size as a regular YouTube thumbnail. Okay, and so once that loads up here, what you're gonna do is you can use some of these um, examples to the side here, but these are all gonna be YouTube thumbnail examples. What we wanna create is an end screen. So let's pop over into YouTube and I will show you the different options when it comes to the preloaded end screens that you can do. So I just went and uploaded a random video here just to show you what the end screen templates that you load up from YouTube look like. So you can either have the playlist and subscribe button, two videos, a video, a playlist and subscribe, one video and a playlist. There's all these different options here for you. An import from latest video here. So this is basically showing you where the different elements are going to go. So this square box is going to be another video that you can put on the screen to then direct traffic to. And this circle here is going to be on a subscribe button. It's going to show the profile picture of your YouTube logo basically that's on your profile. So this is kind of what the options would be, but you need to create the spaces to actually import those. So I'm gonna come over and I'm just gonna show you what mine looks like. So this is what mine looks like. I have a couple different options here, and I also have some templates like this available in Video Marketing Accelerator, which is my group program. It's actually a fast action bonus for people who sign up for the, for the program. They get access to all of these different templates for the YouTube end screen and for thumbnails and so on. So this is what mine looks like and as you can see this is where I have this watch next and then once I import this into YouTube this little blank space is where the actual video card is going to go and then here is where the picture from my YouTube logo is going to go so that it actions people to subscribe to my channel. If you scroll down here's another option of a template that I've created as well so again same thing it's just oriented a little bit differently on the page. So how do we create something like this for your brand? Well, let's do that together. So let's come back over into my blank design here. I'm just going to pick um, a blank color here as an example. And then let's create the text boxes. So we're gonna come over into elements and we're gonna pick a, the square here. Make it a rectangle. Let's make it white so that we have a nice background to know that this is where we want the, the YouTube video placement to go. And really, you can place this wherever you want. Sometimes people will have it so that the video will still show up, the actual main video will still show up on the left hand side here, and then they'll have other examples kind of, um, let's copy and paste this, kind of just like this. So they have two other example videos and they might point over to it. So this could be a really good option for you as well if this is kind of what you wanted to do. Make these a little smaller. Make this white. So now there, we could have two videos placed as well as a subscribe button and you could have your actual YouTube video playing on the left hand side here, right? So you could have, say this is like your actual YouTube video here, right? And then these could be where you put the placeholders for the pieces that you're gonna import. You can also put different text on here if you like. So maybe you wanna have a heading that says, check out 
these other videos. And let's change this font maybe to something a little bit more bold. Um, we can actually change, make them all capitals as well here. And the other fun thing about, you know, Canva is you can really play around with all of the different features here. You could do effects and you can add fun effects to here if you wanted to. Um, so you could put this over here like this, like whatever you wanted to do um, is completely possible with this, right? You can do so many different things. You could add your logo onto here. So if I come down and I go into logos and I want to maybe add my symbol here, I could do that and I could add that down here if I wanted to, right? There are so many different options. The, the goal here is just to play around with where you want these elements to be according to what you want the end screen to look like. So if we come back over into YouTube and I'm going to just go over into YouTube here and let's check, check out what my end screen looks like, right? When it's playing. So I'm going to come over into my videos here and let's play one of my videos and wow, okay let's go to the very end of this video so you can see perfect what the end screen looks like so like as you can see here when the end screen comes up on the end of the video I'm able to place these elements using the uploader so using this onto the videos so I have my subscribe button and then I have the next video that I think that the people should watch so if we want to build exactly this thing, what we can do is just come over here. Let's just duplicate this page here. Let's find a picture that we want to use. So let's just scroll up. You'd want to use a picture of yourself most likely, but let's just use this one for an example. Let's make it the full background here. Then let's come over and find the elements button. And again, you know, we want to make this into kind of a rectangle here. And you may have to play with the, the spacing and things on here as well, but this is just to give you an idea of kind of how it works. So if you wanted this to be down here like that, maybe you wanna have a little watch next button like I do. So you wanna come over here, maybe put this one up there like this, and then you wanna use the circle here. So you're gonna bring those down, bring that over like so. You wanna make that white again. And then maybe we want to copy this. So we need to go copy and then we're going to right click again on our mouse and hit paste to bring that guy down like this. There we go. Now all we need to do is we need to add the, the words, right? So we're going to come over into the text. We're going to add a subheading here. We're going to say subscribe. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Right? position that where you want it to go. We're going to copy this again and bring it back up here. And then maybe right here, we're going to say watch next. And that way people know what to watch. And of course you would change these colors to your brand colors. You would change the, the font to your brand font. This is just to show you the generalized template. So all of this is super customizable to your own brand, but this is just to show you the template. So if this is what you wanted it to look like, what you would do next is you would say download. I'm just going to pick this second page here. I'm going to download it as a PNG and I'm going to say download. Next, once this is downloaded, what you're going to do is you're going to actually bring this into your editing software along with your video footage and you're going to add it to the very end of your video so that when you come over into YouTube, just like on here, this is actually a part of my video. So if you can see it, it's playing, it's playing, we'll play it here. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. We'll catch you next week. So you can see they pop up beforehand and then the end screen is actually a part of the video. So we actually place it at the very end in editing so that when it comes time to upload into YouTube, we're in the upload screen here. I would just hit, right? I would just hit this button right here and it would automatically apply it so that when you're coming over here, this is a client's video, but when you come over here, you know, it's going to bring it up and it's going to position it. Now she uses the same template as me, very similar. So we would just have it like that, have it match the thing. And there's a good example of the same template, but created to her brand and the brand colors that she uses, right? So then you would just hit save 
and that's it. That's how you create the YouTube thumbnail and then upload it into YouTube. So like I said, when you're coming over here and you're creating all of these different templates, really play around with it and be creative. Um, try maybe putting them, you know, maybe just putting some videos over here. Maybe try putting the subscribe button over here and a video over here. You can try out different methods to see what you might like and what fits your brand and then upload it right into your um, YouTube video and then right into YouTube itself. Okay, so now that you know how to create a YouTube end screen for your channel, let me know in the comments below what your biggest YouTube goal is. Because on this channel, my mission and what I wanna do is help you grow on YouTube. And I wanna help you create a lead generation system for yourself using YouTube. So no matter what your goal is, make sure to comment below and I would love to help you out with that and create some more videos on this channel to help you. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos on this channel. Thanks so much, and we'll catch you next week. Bye.